I know you're scared. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. If I were you, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. I know you're scared. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. If I were you, uh huh, uh huh. You better bring your A game. Uh, bring your A game. You better bring your A game. The Minnesota Vikings are set to face off against the New Orleans Saints today, Sunday, 12 p.m., noon game, Central Time. Uh, just really excited for the game. You know, I think we're going to we're gonna go out and get this win. You know, we're going to – we got to fix our running game, though. Joshua Dobbs, you know, I, I'm excited to see him run a bit more. Um, just – I just want to see lots of production from our team. You know, lots and lots and lots of it. You know, Cam Akers being put on IR – you know, that's just, that's just so unfortunate, you know. And I think that our team does have lots of potential. We could be contenders. We could we can make a run. And I think that uh, we're, we're very underrated. We are very underrated. I just want to talk real quick about Daniel Hunter, first of all. Daniel Hunter of the Minnesota Vikings, defensive end, leading the league in sacks, tackles for loss, and he's doing his thing. And yet nobody voted for him to be defensive player of the year. And that's just so like whoa, like whoa. I like I'm not sure what these analysts, these other voters are thinking, but you know, Daniel Hunter is playing at the level that he's supposed to play at, if not better. And if your defensive coordinator, Brian Flores, who every day I'm thankful for, uh, for he's he's the reason we the one of the biggest reasons why we have the five wins that we have, why we're over 500, because our defense is bailing us out. Well, not exactly bailing us out as opposed to the Falcons game, but helping us, helping us. That's what I should say. The defense is helping us to an extent where we can use uh, our offense to win the game. And the Vikings could have been 9-0 and if it weren't for those early turn turnovers in the earlier games. And uh, I think that we do have lots of things that we can improve on. Every, every game, you know, there's always at least that one thing we have to improve on. But I feel confident with Josh Dobbs. I really, really, really do. And this game, man, this game is going to be crazy because Cam Jordan, a defensive uh, edge rusher who I kind of liked, sort of liked, but the guy's got to shut his mouth every once in a while, you know. He chirps, 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 chirps. You know, he was chirping back in 2019 about Kirk Cousins, and then Kirk uh, won the won the wild card game against him with the Kyle Rudolph touchdown. Kyle Rudolph, by the way, a player who I'll always be thankful for, one of the best Vikings players ever. Oh man, Kyle Rudolph, 20, 2017 to 2019, Kyle Rudolph's best years with the Vikings for real. I mean, oh, every day I miss him. Every single day I miss him. You know, and. <sighs> Let's pray for our Vikings win, guys. And on to the injury report. So Chris Reed, it does say questionable here, but he will be out for the game. I did see that on Vikings Twitter. Uh, Jaron Hall out with a concussion, didn't play at all this week. Dean Lowry with a groin injury, didn't practice on Wednesday, limited practice on Thursday, and limited practice on Friday. He's doubtful. KJ Osborne did not practice on Wednesday, uh, limited practice on Thursday, full practice on Friday. He's questionable. Brian Osamoa, ankle injury again. Well, he's still dealing with that with that dinged up ankle. Limited practice, he's questionable. Christian Derisaw with the groin injury. Limited practice on Wednesday. Limited practice on Thursday, but full practice on Friday. You love to see the Friday full practice, you know. Um, he could play. TJ Hawkinson trying to fight off that um, those ribs, those ribs injuries. Uh, the ribs, the rib injury. Yeah, nailed it. Uh kind of an oblique muscle in the ribs, I believe, but he's questionable for the game as well as Justin Jefferson with the hamstring injury. I think they moved him to out for the game now. I think they I think they moved his uh, status from questionable to out due to due to the fact that you don't want to aggravate an injury like that, especially like if you're Justin Jefferson. I know you want to get out there and play, but you know, better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. And that's what I love about this this Vikings team. We're we're so overly cautious and it's and that's a good thing when it comes to your star players and the injuries. 
Johnny Munt with a knee injury. Limited practice on Wednesday, limited practice on Thursday, full practice on Friday. Jalen Naylor, hamstring injury, but he had full practice. Love to see it. Chris Reed, despite full practice with that foot injury, he was questionable, like I said, but moved. To, he got moved to um, out for the game. So, And then Harrison Smith, not injury-related, not injury-related at all, just some veteran rest. Uh, his Wednesday and Friday practice is unlisted. His only practice – well, he didn't practice on Thursday. Uh, Kendra uh, on the Saints side, Kendra Miller, running back, ankle injury, did not practice on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday all week. He's out for the game, as well as Isaiah Foskey with a quadricep injury. Quad uh, didn't practice all week either, and he's out for the game. Ty Summers with Ty Summers with a hamstring injury. Full practice all week. Demario Davis with a knee injury. Full practice all week. Adam Prentice with a knee injury, full practice all week. Ryan Ramzik, gosh, I hope I pronounced that that name the right way. Uh, not injury related at all, just some veteran rest. Um, Ty Summers, Demario Davis, Adam Prentice. Uh, so Adam Prentice is um he's questionable for the game. Demario Davis and Ty Summers are is, is they're both unspecified. And so is uh, Ryan Ramzik. Is that how you pronounce his name? I think he's. A, I think he's an. Um, I think he's a uh, an offensive lineman for the Saints. But his injury status is unspecified. He did have some limited practice on Friday. Uh, I do believe in the Vikings though for this game, like we always do. Every Vikings fan, uh, we don't want to get our hopes up too high. Nah, my hopes are going to be so high up. And we don't have many of our starters, and I still feel like we're going to win this game. That shows you how dangerous this team is. <sighs> Teams in the NFL, mm, mm, mm. some are struggling. And I think the Saints could be one of those teams. Even the Cowboys are struggling. I mean, what really scares you, by the way, about the Cowboys? Sure, CJ Lamb's having a breakout season, respect, but... Tony Pollard's not 100%. Micah Parsons isn't leading the league over Daniel Hunter in sacks. So, man, I don't know. Even um, ESPN's analyst, who I really admire, by the way, Mina Kimes, she said that the Cowboys defense was going to come out swinging this year. They sort of are, but I'm not really on board with Micah Parsons at all. And, man, I – uh. I think we're going to win this game. And by the way, I did hear the news about Michael Thomas. He got arrested due to him throwing bricks at someone's car. I'll do a separate video about that before the game. Uh, we, we still have about a little a little less than two hours before kickoff. So um, this game is going to be crucial for us. You know, we have to stay above 500. And we have to be in the playoffs. And this game will increase our playoff chances with a win and decrease them with a loss. Um, yeah, yeah, this game's going to be crucial for sure, and I can't wait to see us get this win, though. And by the way, I think Jordan Addison of the Minnesota Vikings is going to have a better game than he has, than he had against the Falcons. I mean, respect to Addison, he had that awesome catch, but I did want to see him put up some more yards, and I love Addison a lot. Also a really funny guy. I saw him troll uh, Kevin O'Connell's uh, interview. That was pretty funny, pretty funny. Uh, good times. But I think we're going to go out there. I think we're going to go get this win. We are going to go get this win against the Saints. Um, you want to have a good running game, though, for a quarterback like Josh Dobbs, for sure. For sure, for sure. Without a doubt, you want to have, like, a stable running game for a guy who runs a lot. We might see a bit more of King Kenne, King Kenne Wongu, uh, Ty Chandler, sure. Maybe Dwayne McBride, maybe a tiny sprinkle of Dwayne McBride. I mean, I'll take any runner at this point. And we could have brought in, by the way, James Robinson to, to, to at least our practice squad, but it's okay. I, I, fi I find myself to be content with what we have in terms of the running uh, section of the field. So, uh, But Josh Dobbs, I think he's going to have that same 158 yard yards, two touchdowns like he did against the Falcons. I think he, he'll also lead the team in rushing yards. Hurts to say. But I think Kenne and Ty Chandler could still have themselves a nice game. Um, and TJ Hawkinson, by the way, he has five straight games of 50-plus yards. And I like it. And against the Falcons, we were one for one on fourth down efficiency and has 73 total plays. We did allow four sacks. 
We did sack the Falcons once. We punted the ball three times. Falcons punted it four times. And we led once again in time of possession. Against the Falcons, we had 31 minutes and 32 seconds of possession. The Falcons had 28 minutes and 28 seconds of possession. By the way, I just realized the time of possession is also the score because we had 31 minutes of possession. They had 28 minutes of possession. I saw that, and I nailed it. Uh, that's how we were against the Falcons, and I think we could do even better against the Saints. Or maybe maybe the same, minus the safeties, minus the fumbles, minus the mistakes. But there is a possibility of Josh Dobbs being a little bit worse now that he knows the plays because some guys are better on the helm. Some guys are better when they know that they have nothing to lose. But I still believe in Josh Dobbs, and I think that we're going to go get this win against the Saints. Thank you guys for watching. This is your, po your pregame uh, analysis from yours truly, JJ Vikings, who dreams to work for the Minnesota Vikings. Skull, see you guys in the next one. I know you're scared. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. If I were you. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. I know you're scared. Yeah. I do too. If I were you. Uh -huh.